The political disputes in Wisconsin continue. If it's not collective bargaining or it's the state budget, it's the election. And three days after the most recent election day, still no firm answer on who has earned a term on the Wisconsin Supreme Court. And it's an issue that was already a hot topic. Now it's firing up even more. Today, protesters were even out. Here is the problem. Earlier in the week, incumbent David, uh, Justice David Prosser was thought to have lost the election, making Assistant Attorney General Joanne Kloppenberg the state's new justice. However, as municipalities across the state review the totals, it appears that may not be the case. Fox 11's Becky DeVries has balanced coverage of where things stand tonight. The question of just what happened during Tuesday's election is becoming so heated, demonstrators showed up in Waukesha County. People want a fair election. Uh, people worked hard during this election. They want an impartial justice. And here we have an election where all of a sudden 15,000 votes are found a day after the election. Doesn't make sense to us. Joanne Kloppenberg claimed victory for a seat on the state Supreme Court Wednesday. Then Thursday, the clerk in Waukesha County issued new numbers, which gave incumbent Justice David Prosser a 7,500 vote lead. Prosser did not speak with Fox 11, but did talk to Fox News. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, if, if these results hold up, I, I will be uh, the winner. Uh, my opponent has the right to uh, uh, call for a recount and have the state pay for that recount if it's within a certain level. But if you get up over 7,000 votes, that's, uh, that's serious business. That's, that's not likely to be overcome. Friday afternoon, members of the Kloppenberg campaign paid a visit to the Waukesha clerk's office looking at the numbers themselves. Well, there are, I think, um, about 200 uh, wards in, the, in, the, in, in Waukesha County. I, I may be a little bit off on that, but, uh, you know, we have to go through um, all of them. So we're hopeful that we, we get it done tomorrow, but I, I can't say for sure. The director of the Government Accountability Board, which oversees elections, says he doesn't know how election night information from Waukesha County did not include Brookfield. Kevin Kennedy says he still has confidence in the clerk, but he should have known about the issue sooner. Our concern is where do the certified numbers come from? Uh, the, you know, her gathering of the unofficial numbers to make available to the public is something that, uh, you know, will be coming out both through our review but also through, as I understand it, a number of public record requests. And clerks throughout the state have until one week from today to canvass their official results. After that happens, the Government Accountability Board can certify those numbers. The board says it is preparing for a recount. Both the Kloppenberg and Prosser campaigns have started fundraising efforts in case they have to pay for a recount. Some have called for a federal investigation into the matter. However, the state says since no federal offices were on the ballot, there will be no federal investigation.